Welcome to our session where we're seeking to make steps closer to Christ by the grace of the living God. Today we are in paragraph 11.2. want to continue our reading. So let's go. It says, in describing his mission, Jesus said, The Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. This was his work. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed by Satan. There were whole villages where there was not a moan of sickness in any house, for he had passed through them and healed all their sick. His work gave evidence of his divine anointing. Love, mercy, and compassion were revealed in every act of his life. His heart went out in tender sympathy to the children of men. He took man's nature that he might reach man's wants. The poorest and humblest were not afraid to approach him. Even little children were attracted to him. They loved to climb upon his knees and gaze into the pensive face, benignant with love. What a powerful a text that we just read. Uh, as we just read, we can find out, we, when we reflect upon this passage, we can see that uh, Jesus cared. Jesus cared. He cared about the oppressed. He cared about the sick. He cared about those who were wounded. He cared about the imprisoned. He cared about people. Jesus cares about people. And we see that Jesus cares about you. The, 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 the LNGY says that you would look through a town and there was not even one person that was sick. I mean, what in the world? We see a whole village and people are just totally in health. That is God's ideal. That is what the Father is like. God is love. That was God's original plan. That all of us, that all people would experience abundance of health and abundance of wealth. That was God's ideal until Satan messed up the whole system. And now he's trying to oppress you. He's trying to knock you down with sickness. He's trying to do all of these things. Don't let him misrepresent God thinking that God is the one who is trying to make sickness. Uh, overtake you and make death overtake you and make poverty overtake you it is his plan it is God's plan for a whole village for the whole world to be experiencing wellness and 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 health and wealth it is Jesus's ideal my friend but because Satan is in this world we have to face this suffering but I want to look at Jesus as we reflect to show that Jesus cares about you also Jesus cared about people then and he also cares about people now and he cares about you he cares about your financial situation he cares about your problems your marital problems he cares about your singleness you're trying to look for a spouse uh, but it's just hard to find while the culture is 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 being confused some men don't even know if they're a man or if they're a female or if they're a woman some don't even know if they're a woman or if they're a man they are a man and so the culture is being confused and sometimes it might be hard it might be challenging for you to say oh god man should i choose this one i don't even know if he's straight uh but i want to encourage you that jesus cares he wants to lead you he wants to direct you he wants to be there for you so don't worry because jesus got your back jesus wants to bring you through this one because jesus cares that is who the father is he is love he cares about he you he loves you and will take care of you god bless and i'll see you next time but before i see you actually i want to pray for you father god i pray that you will uh, bless someone that is watching your oh god almighty i don't want to jump off too quick without praying for a person who is going through it right now it seems like satan has been oppressing them it seems like every time they get a money it just runs through their pocket oh god because Satan is oppressing them. Satan is oppressing them with lack of patience, with not knowing how to budget. Satan is oppressing them with sickness. Satan is trying to oppress them uh, by having the wrong perception of who you are. But Lord, in Jesus' name, release them from this oppression. In Jesus' name, deliver them uh, from this attack of the enemy. 
of trying to attack their relationship, their marriage, their finances. In Jesus' name, release them from this oppression. And I pray that they will be freed in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless and I'll see you next time.